Hello friends, uh, we got a bit closer to the volcano. Actually, um, there is no smoke next to the volcano like last time. And you see all the terrain is burned. There is no moss left, it's just all burned. And this is the volcano from 300 meters. As it is today on July 17th. <laughs> Uh, what took me here and to this spot my drone uh, emergency landed here because uh, it was running out of battery and it landed here so <laughs> I had to come here to pick it up uh, I mean nothing wrong with the drone but it just didn't have strength to make it all the way to to where I was like 200 meters more so <laughs> I had to come here and I see there is no smoke and the volcano is here. Look what is happening here. So it's kind of a uh, drone took me here. Not really, I didn't plan to come that close, but uh, <laughs> emergency landed for the first time actually. Because I wanted, it's such a spectacular view, I wanted to film as much as I could and like couldn't uh, fly anymore. <laughs> so it's not a single soul here. Now in the morning, well, I saw one guy actually, but otherwise there is nobody here. And this is how volcano looks. Uh, lava is going south, so, oh everything, absolutely everything towards Meradali. It's just packing in that small valley over there. Uh, there are smokes a bit further, like 300 meters further. There are smokes, but here closer to the volcano there are no smokes. You see what is the situation here? Everything is burned like totally total burnout of moss total destruction look it's just total uh, black 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 all over you see so here we are next to the volcano on july 17th so i didn't expect even to make it here from that side it's hard to come because uh, it's smokes are going that direction they're driven by wind to the south so you see all straight on the trail like straight on the trail where people used to walk so there's no chance they will open this side again i mean not soon next days as long as the wind is from the north you know <sighs> so uh, but i'm glad i got my drone back and it's uh, kind of a relief for me because I was wondering where did the emergency land it? <laughs> and I followed the map where it was showing me to walk and it took me here. I hope it, uh, I just hope it is not right next to the volcano somewhere where it was like good distance. So it's fine. So this is a volcano today on July 17th, uh, early morning. I took a very long hike, 12 kilometers hike from the east. I don't particularly recommend it unless you know the trail over the last section of one kilometer lava field. There is like 1,000 years old lava field. One kilometer stretch to cross it was it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Perhaps I don't know. But uh, I, next time I'll check the trails through that lava field and I will uh, know how to walk through it. Uh, so, uh, but otherwise it's a really nice hike. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. A really special hike in the, at night and in the early morning. It took me about two hours to get here and nobody here, not a single soul. This is not a touristic volcano for now. <laughs> Quite a hostile one. See what is happening. This is the most unfriendly volcano of all three, definitely is. And it looks like it's going to be for some time. But the direction of wind probably will change, at least on Friday, I think. It's going to be a little different direction, then people will come here. It's possible to come pretty close, as you see. Let's look at the volcano a little bit more. Uh, you will see from drone that uh, 